Nigeria is a federal republic to remain by the grace of God, indivisible, indissoluble, sovereign republic under God, by the grace of God. It will be a federal republic. Part of the problem is that it's always very difficult to, en to ensure federalism under the centralist military government. But that, 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 that will change. You had it very recently. Orders being given by the military president of the country to the governors of the state. That is not in accordance with our constitution. Maybe the problem arose because we allow this diarchy. Because what we have now is a diarchy. We have the civilian regime everywhere else, but having a military head. The body is civilian. The head is military. It is this funny animal that we have at the moment that is given difficulties to, uh, to everybody. Nobody seems to know what to call it. If you look at the head, you see the military. If you look at every other part of the body, you see civilian. What is it? Is this a civilian government we have now or military? I think it's a quasi-military concussion of governance. And it is this type of thing that has that created that. But quite candidly, that is the, that is the thing. People don't realize that what we are talking about is the changeover of that head, the, the, move, the, the movement of the head, so that we will have a full civilian government in Nigeria. Every soldier is gone. And, and you don't, sometimes you don't, don't remember that. But every soldier has practically left the government, except the president alone. And that is why it, it is, so where the, the, the president himself, becomes the umpire in a case in which is directly involved, the only one involved. You can see the problem of objectivity there.